But you're known, I suppose, as Mr. Brexit. You know, well, that's what Donald Trump calls me. So, yeah. It's a, is it something you wear with honour? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Britain is going to make the great escape. We're going to get out of this union. We'll be the first European country to get our freedom back. I suspect many others will follow. And then what we'll have is our democracy back, our liberty back, and we'll have influence in the world as you lot head for disaster. I think I've managed to change the whole political debate in this country by saying something that many people privately thought, but no one dared speak. It's a victory for ordinary people, decent people. It's a victory against the big merchant banks, against the big businesses, and against big politics. And I'm proud of everybody that had the courage in the face of all the threats, everything they were told, they had the guts to stand up and do the right thing. I came here 17 years ago and I said that I wanted to lead a campaign to get Britain to leave the European Union. You all laughed at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now. Nigel Farage, banging on about fishing again, an industry which employs fewer people than Poundland and that contributes less to overall GDP than Harrods in Knightsbridge. It's the big issue of Brexit apparently. We take back control of our territorial fishing waters, we manage it properly, and it's going to be worth three to five billion pounds every single year to this country. And it's also going to be the regeneration of many of our coastal towns and communities. Otto, you can write these people off if you want to. You can say they're irrelevant, but actually, I think, in our hearts, as an island people, this matters. I mean, this is called question time, this programme, right? And well, happens, tonight you could have another And what happens is, <laughs> members of the audience ask questions, and we're expected to answer them. You haven't answered this lady's question. Do you think Britain's overcrowded? The of a damp rag and the appearance of a low-grade bank clerk. And the question that I want to ask, the question that I want to ask, that we're all going to ask, is who are you? I'd never heard of you. Nobody in Europe had ever heard of you. I would like to ask you, President, who voted for you? And what mechanism? Oh, I know democracy is not popular with you lot. And uh, what mechanism Mr. do President. the peoples of Europe have Mr. to remove President. you? These are the lies and the spin. Oh, right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Farage was criticising the return of our customs union and regulatory alignment. In 2015, he was arguing for exactly the same thing, what? saying that we could leave the European Union just like Norway had done, which is still a member Norway of never the joined. market. Like they left Norway the never joined. What are you talking yeah, about? So they should analyse the responses of 20,000 voters from every constituency across the UK. The largest independent survey conducted on Brexit since the referendum. Now we asked the same question as was asked back in 2016. Should the UK remain in the European Union or leave the European Union? And the result is... We're in. Given we have a government that doesn't believe in Brexit and we make the arguments for it, Given that you've got just the Remain argument, come and look at this room, there's a room for the Remainers. No, just me. it's not. It's absolutely not. On the, on the panel, Remain, 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 Remain. Brexit, right. Brexit. So, four Remainers. Remain, four, Brexit. Uh, they voted Remain. Yes, but they are both in favour of Brexit. No, 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 they're, they're, <laughs> but they're not making the Brexit arguments. You have not heard the Brexit argument made for the last 18 months, and we're still on 46%. If, if the democratic will of the people is overturned and betrayed and they force us to vote again i'm convinced from those figures leave would win by a much bigger margin next time i'll go for a pint 